Booties for Black Girl Nerds. So Terminator Dark Fate is such a fun, exciting movie. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about like the role you play in the film? Well, I play the Rev-9, which is the Terminator in the film. Uh, uh, you know, true to form, there's a target, a protector, and a Terminator, and of course I play the Terminator. Mm -hmm. uh, two, in fact, which is great. You get two Terminators for the price of one. Yeah, which is, which is a little twist. That's exciting. Yeah, which is cool. Cause, uh, <laughs> It's, uh, they're both still animate, they're both still their own Terminator unit, and, uh, and it's kind of, you know, it's the T-800 and T-1000 merged. Mm -hmm. uh, and then beyond that, I, uh, you know, I have the ability to really kind of create a truly genuine human simulation, one that is, um, allows for, uh, you know, smiles and, and mm -hmm. what almost can be perceived as an enjoyment of right. this uh, pursuit of Danny and this... Uh, you know, goal or mission to kill her. Yeah, so how did you kind of find that balance between playing, you know, human-like person versus a machine? Like, what advice were you given on how to be a machine? Uh, you know, I didn't receive a lot of advice. Mm -hmm. I just, um, I absorbed information from Arnold and Linda and everybody who's worked on these films before. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I heard a podcast once about Robert Patrick talking about his experience. Okay. Um, and I, I, but beyond that, I think it was mostly just analysis of the films, what's good, what works, what really is, uh, what are the building blocks of creating this, this monster that everybody seems to be afraid of. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, just be yourself, add what it is, apply your own unique, yes, <laughs> every time I say that I sound like Liam Neeson and Taken, apply your own unique set of skills. Um, and uh, which in my case, I think is what Tim responded to is my ability to kind of just be personable and friendly and and lull people into a false sense of comfort and then just take their head off. Yeah, exciting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so was there any uh, new technology or you know visual effects wise that you that helped you get into this character? You know, it's the I think the motion capture was something that um, uh, the 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 way in which the the motion capture is is applied and mm -hmm. um, in, in filmmaking these days is is really cool because yeah. it's so uh, if if uh, you know if I need to switch in and out I'm playing myself and then I need to be the endo and it's not like there's a bunch of cameras that need to be set up and I have to put on all of the uh, motion capture balls and anything like that it's literally mm -hmm. just put your mocap pajamas on and you're ready. Right. So I could just literally just run into the tent, strip down, put the mocap on and then be out and be ready in two minutes, you know? Yeah. And uh, that, that was really great because it was very important to me to still be playing the character in all of its forms. Mm -hmm. And I was happy that everyone agreed that that was important. So, um, yeah. but yeah. Awesome. So why do you think Terminator Dark Fate is so relevant in terms of like the legacy and you know, all the years have passed between the last one. Why do you think it's relevant now? Sarah Connor's in the story, mm -hmm. and she's returned to tell her own story. It, it is hers. It always, ha it always has been. Mm -hmm. And um, and so uh, I think that is the, that was the big draw for me as a, as a, as a fan, mm -hmm. and I hope that that's kind of what's going to draw people to this one. Um, and also, it's just, it's always, the, the films have always been a timestamp as to where we are in our relationship to technology, and, mm -hmm. and I think this and this one also holds true. Um, so I think all of that, I think what they'll be happy with is, is they're getting a Terminator movie. You yeah. Know, Sarah's back, and and all of the um, the DNA of the originals are there, so, so they're getting what they pay for. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.